What's the first thing you have to do when you move all the way across the other side of the world? Well, that's a pretty easy question to answer. You gotta get yourself some seeds and you gotta start germinating some trees. And my wife and I arrived in early springtime, so it was a perfect time to get some giant sequoia seeds. And the first thing I did when I got them was I soaked them in water just for 24 hours. And then I put them in a Ziploc bag with some moist paper towel. You can see some other species of trees there, some other seeds, but we're gonna focus on the giant sequoia. And then you're gonna put them in the fridge for four to six weeks and that's gonna stratify them and they're gonna think it's winter. And this next step is really interesting. Keep them out of direct light. This is actually something that I've done differently from my last YouTube video on giant sequoia and it was something that you guys told me in the comments. Um, some people said keep the seeds out of direct light when they're germinating as seeds. So I actually did that this year and it worked really well. And so every few days I would check up on the seeds, make sure they're still moist, the paper towel is moist. And then I would individually plant them once they had shown some signs of growth. Um, and that's just a way of saving a bunch of time. Instead of putting 50 seeds into separate pots and filling them with soil when watering them, you can just put the germinated seeds into pots and yeah, it's just a much more efficient way of doing it. And then as you can see, after a few days, the germinated seeds were protruding the soil and yeah, we were starting to get some baby sequoia again. So super pumped with that. And I kept them inside to start with just to regulate the temperature, keep them warm but they actually had a couple of hours of direct light and then a lot of indirect light um, when they were actually germinated. So once they start growing into the seedling form, that's when you can obviously introduce um, light because they need light to grow. Um, and then yeah, every few days, I would just keep continually adding more of these germinated seeds, as you can see here, into the pots. And that technique worked really, really well, I think this was my most efficient year. Out of the 50 giant sequoia seeds, about 17 actually successfully germinated. And I would say that that germination success rate is actually quite good. Um, four or five, however, did die early on in the seedling stage, but having 12 or 13 giant sequoia out of 50, personally, I think that's quite good. I find this species a lot harder than other species and each year, this is my fourth year now growing them, I'm getting better and better and better. So I think maybe my success rate will continue going up as I get more experienced in this. But just know if this is one of your first times, don't be discouraged if you get a low success rate because they are a hard species I find personally to grow. And then here they are late spring you can see they're starting to develop really nicely and i've actually started to bring them outside at this point after about two months and this is just to weather them get them really um, hardened to sunlight to wind to temperature and here they are a few months later and as you can see they're absolutely boosting they're a lot, lot stronger than what they were a few months ago. They're still seedlings, but definitely turning into little trees here. And unfortunately, I lost most of this time lapse, but all I did was I slip potted them. So I just cut the outside of the pots and put them in um, bigger pots for winter. They have four or five weeks, about a month to grow into them. And I didn't disturb the roots. That's a really important thing to note. Giant sequoia have very delicate roots. Um, and yeah, I fertilized them probably three times in the growing season only and just with a light or diluted organic mix. And in the new pots, I mixed the same potting soil, obviously didn't disturb the soil. And then I mixed more of the same potting soil with some fresh compost, not a lot of compost. And then this is sort of a template or an idea of what you can expect in one growing year. I know that in my last giant sequoia video, I didn't really show too much um, updates or anything like that with um, the giant sequoia in Australia. So I thought I would do that this year in this video. I know there are a lot of people out there that are really curious about this tree, including myself. And I know that when I started three or four years ago, I would have loved to have 
have as much information on them as I could. So hopefully this will be helpful for you guys. And if you have any comments, any questions, any tips, anything, um, please let me know in the comments. Um, I love discussing anything about this tree. For anyone curious, these were the two largest specimens from my batch of trees from 2022. And this is at the end of the growing season. Here they are battling away the start of winter. They've browned off and that's okay. They will green up again in spring. They're just hibernating and chilling out for the winter, having a rest after a long growing period. And these guys are actually eventually going to be planted on my friend's property. I'm just deciding whether or not I'll plant them there this spring or if I'll grow them in pots for another year, get them a bit bigger and stronger. Not too sure yet. And that brings us up to date. So what are we doing right now? We're buying more seeds for this year. So they're coming in at the end of February and we'll have another batch of 50 coming through. And then we will keep tabs of the second year giant sequoia throughout the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. I know it's been a little longer in between posts, but it's just been really busy moving countries. But I have a lot of plans for this YouTube channel for the future. Thank you for supporting, liking, sharing and subscribing. It's been four months or five months since my last post. And since then, I've grown 100 subscribers still, even without posting. So thank you guys. Appreciate you. And we'll have more updates and more videos soon. Later.